responding with wonderment and awe. This is one of those habits that when I first came across it, like you know what it's about. It's about, wow, like man, that's amazing stuff. But the more we explored it, the more we sort of delved into what it was, the more I started to believe that this habit is one of the two or three that I think has been misnamed. That everybody responds with wonderment and awe if you give them something awe-inspiring. But the habit here, the thing that separates people out, that successful people have, that unsuccessful people tend not to do so well, is not the response of wonderment and awe. It's the search for wonderment and awe. That successful people are in the habit of asking, what is exceptional about this? I want to be awestruck by you. And what really triggers our wonderment and awe is that recognition of something that is exceptional. To understand what the normal is, and then to go, this is well outside the normal. And I remember when I was in year nine, my uh, English teacher, I'm sorry, my art teacher, took us to the art gallery. And uh, we're standing there looking at some piece of art. <laughs> and my teacher's going, wow, stroking his chin. He's like, this is amazing. Look at this piece of artwork, James. It's just beautiful. And I'm looking at it going, it's a picture, big deal. Now, why did he respond with wonderment and awe and I didn't? Because all, all I saw was a picture on a wall. It looked pretty much like all the other pictures on the wall. And, you know, for a drawing, it was okay, but like hardly worth standing there staring. But he saw something different. He saw a history. He saw a technique. He saw the use of light and color. He saw a whole lot of things that made that painting exceptional among other paintings that I, didn't, I simply didn't see. So when we're trying to develop this habit of responding with wonderment and awe, the behavior, the active verb, as opposed to the passive verb of responding, is the search for wonderment and awe. To be able to look at a person, to be able to look at the work we're doing, to be able to look at everything we do in life, and to say, what's special, what's unique about this thing? understand what normal is, and then recognize what is exceptional about what we're doing. And it's that search that is at the heart of this habit of responding with wonderment and awe.